Hey, this is Chris. How you doing? Going to be going over a very handy hard disk drive utility. Hard disk drive utility today. It's called Crystal Disk Info Portable. I've already gone and to the page where we can download it. You can download this as a regular program that installs on your hard drive, or you can get this portable version. Of course, I prefer the portable version because I like to keep it on a flash drive so that I can check out any computer that I happen to run across if I suspect hard drive issues. I generally run this on every computer I look at though just to make sure that the hard drive is in good condition. So we go to the Crystal Disk Info Portable page and we click on the download link. And you see the downloads getting ready to start. And it's downloading and it's downloaded so we click on the link there in the bottom left hand corner of my browser window and we hit run. It says it's an installer but all it's actually doing is unpacking the files uh, to, a, to a place on the hard drive. Of course they always want to put it in download so I'm going to put it on the desktop so you all can see it. We have our location folder there and so there it is. We can run it or we could just finish. Let's just finish for now and go ahead and open up the uh, folder there. Now we can get rid of our, well we'll just minimize that in case we need to come back to the web for anything. So there it is, Crystal Disk Info Portable is, is right there. Now it's not actually loaded onto the hard drive. The files are just residing there. There's a difference. Uh, don't worry about it if you don't understand the difference. It's okay. Alright, I have already plugged in a hard drive that I suspect, well I know it's bad. Um, Maybe I can do that again. Hold on. Let me plug that back in again and see if it will bring up that error code again. Okay, you see Windows has now recognized the drive. Well, I was hoping it was going to bring up the little pop-up window. Anyway, you go to the E drive and nothing happens. Okay, here's the autoplay dialog. That's what I really wanted to see. So, this drive has multiple partitions on it. This right here is the message you never want to see because it says you need to format the disk in drive E before you can use it. Well, the disk is supposed to be formatted. It was formatted and now it's no longer formatted, which means there's some kind of problem, serious problem with this drive. And see, Windows cannot access the drive. So, I suspect something wrong with the surface. I expect to see a lot of errors indicated by Crystal Disk Info Portable. So I'm just going to double click and open up this program. Here we go. Okay. So if you look here, A and C are the drives on my computer. E and F are the are the partitions are the drives well they are partitions and they are drives in both cases here uh, <clears throat> we see a caution there and so let's see if we can okay so here's the problem this drive is no longer fit to be used that is that is really odd only 324 power on hours that is I've seen drives with hundreds of thousands of power on hours that still worked. Notice though, it's been cut on and this computer is only like three months old. It's been cut on and cut back cut off and cut back on four hundred and fifty times. That's a lot. That's more than once a day. Generally speaking, you should not cut off your computer. I I don't recommend it. But anyway, here we go. Reallocated sector count. Sectors are the little are the smallest divisions on a hard drive. Uh, everything depends on having good sectors and we see we have 36 reallocated. We have no pending and no uncorrectable as of yet. But 36, any, any kind of reallocated sector count is bad because that means that the hard drive has, the internal circuitry of the hard drive has noticed that there's a problem with the sector and rather than wait for it to just go completely bad it goes ahead while it can still move the data and it moves it to another sector because every drive has built-in spare sectors. 
<coughs> and hard drive manufacturers do that on purpose because no media is ever perfect. But anyway, that's what we got the problem with. So these reallocated sectors are evidently in the file system somewhere, and it's keeping this those that that damage. It, those files have been damaged, and so now Windows cannot see what's on the drive, and so that's why we got those error messages earlier. So anyway, look at my drives. My drives are good. See, I've powered on my computer 177 times, but so I've got 15,000 hours on it. I bought this drive new. It stays on about all the time. All righty. Hope this was interesting to you. And, uh, of course, you have portableapps.com is where you can go get it if you want to. If you, if you ha are having problems with your computer, the hard drive really is the first thing to diagnose, and that, that program will do that. As you can see, it's very easy and very quick, and it'll let you know what's going on. Then if you do need to go get it fixed, you can, you can you, you know, if you see your repair person, you can intelligent, intelligently tell them what exactly is going on. You'll get a much better idea of how much it's going to cost. All righty. Have any questions or comments? Please do so in the section below. Like and subscribe. We appreciate it when you do, and we'll see you on the next one.